In the face of rising costs and economic hardship, the authorities of Ojokoro Local Council Development Area, led by Ahmed Tijani, has stepped forward to provide a beacon of hope for its vulnerable residents. Through a compassionate and carefully implemented program, the council distributed cash awards to 600 households and individuals who are struggling to make ends meet. At a ceremony held at the council secretariat, beneficiaries received automated teller machine cards to enable them to withdraw the sum of 50,000 naira each from designated banks. Speaking at the event, the executive chairman of Ojokoro LCDA, Hamid Tijani, said the program was part of the council's efforts to support residents affected by the high cost of living. What we are all here to witness today is the fulfillment of the of one of our social responsibility as a proactive, responsive, and responsible government to improve the standard of living of our people. It is obvious that the removal of the first subsidy by the federal government has caused the rising cost of the food items and essential commodities in our markets, thereby making the cost of living to become very expensive in the country. Therefore, as part of the effort to push the effect of this economic hardship, our administration has decided to support hundreds of a vulnerable household and individuals that are badly affected with crack, affected with cash award. The beneficiaries were carefully selected through a transparent process without any form of sentiment or discrimination as they took turns to receive the financial aid. Beneficiaries expressed gratitude to the council for the support. They noted that the intervention will go a long way in alleviating their financial burdens. Honorable HID Tijani Idowu, chairman of the Ojokoro local government. The man is a very humble man and a very respectable man and he's a trustworthy person. What he says he will do, he will do it. Since I've known him, he's a very good man. Adukpelo Alagawa. Because everybody knows the mobile is sharing by. At least I am out to so many of us. I do well. I have a business meaning. Poultry, poultry processing the Moshe. I feel excited about the cash inclusion program organized by the Ojokoro Local Council Development Area, popularly known as HID. He's, I call him Mr. Welfare. He do normally take care of people with disability. Whenever we call upon him, he answered us. I do pay attention to you. All the lead money come about when we lower. Come on, 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 The chairman, in an interview, assured residents that the council will continue to execute impactful empowerment and skill acquisition programs. We have over 600 people benefiting from this gesture. Over 600 people benefiting from this gesture. We have here in this hall, we have witnessed different empowerment programs, different trainings, capacity building that we have done for all many of our artisans or people that are taking one vocation or the other. We have graduated many numbers of people in this local government, particularly in the area of women and the youth of this local government. So this is not the first time. We have done, we are, it is a regular thing that we normally do and at interval of almost every six months of the year. So I uh, will continue to do this till the end of this administration. They should use the money judiciously. They should not spend it, add it to their business. Let that money yield more profit for them. It's, a, it's, it's, a, it's going to be a kind of a, a 
to start, I mean, to add to their business, to, to boost their business, so that they too can be economically viable. We have carefully selected these ones who are most vulnerable within the community and need to be assisted. And that's why um, we have carefully planned a financial inclusion so that we'll be able to track those that are benefiting from this um, cash award. As the economic situation continues to be challenging, it is essential that governments at all levels prioritize programs that support those who are most vulnerable.